Do something about Sakura. Bring it to the dining hall and talk to the others one more time. Uh oh, something happened. So much stuff in the theater already, and this is all pointless. Whoa! <laughs> huh? Was that someone screaming? You came from the dining hall. Go, 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 go! Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Uh, Look! Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Kina! <gasps> Are you okay? What happened? She... she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! She's still alive. Like, what do you use to talk? I don't have like a server or anything right now. I do have Discord, like my own, but I don't have like a server or anything. You gotta be kidding! No, 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 no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way is she dead. Why? What happened? Uh... Oh, Toko and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling, and then. They knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze? You Our giant balloons are just are a little too perfect, aren't they? They might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> Look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? <gasps> totally not adorable. Not a server. Yeah, I do have an account. Anyway, he's totally not an adorable boys, just Get out, get her out of my sight or else. My beautiful I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay then, let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero, help me. Uh, um. Sure thing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Genocide Jack, abrasive laugh, chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. <laughs> Time finished taking care of Hina's energy in the nurse's office. She had to finally regain her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> Psst, that was super close. I had yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic. That makes you sound even more hostile. <laughs> Man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive I was about to see someone's life come to an end. If I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again. Which would suck. I love sleep. Yeah, never mind the person who actually died, right? Hey, Hina. What ha what the heck happened? Oh well, I just got into a fight and I lost my temper and blew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. But... At first I just, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get you all the time, you'll never have the time, have time to live your own life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just, without thinking, felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches really isn't isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got loose got less loose, right? Sorry. It's all my fault. I just couldn't take it anymore. Because 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 she, she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, his eyes started well up in tears. And as soon as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was gonna fly off its hinges. But there, she stood before us. Hina. Uh oh. Huh? Sakura? Uh. You're not hurt. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, no, it's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto? Hiro, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me! It was just Ijil. It was it's all that demented murderous fiend's fault. 
damn. To her, Hina. Damn you. Leave me alone. To leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you! What is this? I'm I'm okay, really. It was just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness! I'm for big old. I can't forgive this! Good job, Yasuhiro. <laughs> He's too scared of everything. <laughs> Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I, I, I don't hate, hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Why? <laughs> Somebody save me! Hero, then he choked over his he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. Just a second later. What's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kelka stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything, I just... Uh. I'm drawing a line, right here and now. Drawing a line. Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase up to Sakura. Great, now it's just us and Kyoko, so now we can talk to her. <laughs> the only ones we're left were. Yay! Um, Kyoko. Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You're only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and, make, be, made, and be sure of what you saw. Okay. That, that's what you're thinking, right? That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> To think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides... And I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... It's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Oh, okay, thank you. Yay! Made up. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about something else. Oh. What is it you want to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like, to, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I, I guess, but... Shall we go? I was not saying Kyoko about the spy. I wanted to tell her, but they wouldn't let us tell her. They wouldn't let me tell her. Well then, shall we get going? With their typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Ah, Kyoko! I hurried to catch up with her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her. Eventually he arrived. <laughs> The dressing room. So there's there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with alter ego. <laughs> but you said we didn't need alter ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides that, besides, it's not what that it's not us that needs alter ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come and see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Um. Hello. Oh, um, so it's just the two of you, Kyoko and Makoto. Kyoko's fingers glide across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Thank you. No, it's okay. Two should be playing. 
but what is it he wants to ask us? Indeed. Well, let's find out, shall we? Taylor typed in question. What did you wanna, want to ask us? So, um... Oh, yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced, glanced at each other. She replied. Why? Okay. Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, seeing I finished my work, but I don't want that. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else can, so that, that we can get a lot, so that we can all get out of here. That's right. That's what Master would want too. So to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of the school. The only way I can help you is if you connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, it's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? No. I realized how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... but still. When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhumane AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. I'm gonna if it's, do my best. it's for the sake of everyone else, I don't want to be afraid. I can't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too admirable, too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what's the difference between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to old Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no answer. I have no idea to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no matter that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. He says he wants to fight alongside his friends. Now, if... If you were in his place, could you sit by... Could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up, stand tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend? So, um... Some gains when you... <laughs> it's funny. Hey, are you guys dying? Fighting? Not dying. <laughs> if it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's no, there's one place where the mastermind might not know us. One place. That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here with no surveillance camera. Remember with no surveillance camera. The secret room. Oh, That's it. The secret room. You told me about it. I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. Indeed. I do believe you can connect the network from there. I remember seeing an, an Ethernet port on the wall. However, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure that the Mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We also have to move Alter Ego, and the Mastermind may spot us going to, into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I think we need to still Correct. To try, because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko, in that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you can hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then, then let's get started. I'm gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? I started packing him up right away. Music better. We can turn on some jazz. <laughs> Close the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. It, it tickles. Shh, you can't talk right now. 
We're gonna move you to another room until we get there. You have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. Okay. Good. To have him react like a machine, like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. We... Well, all we can do is go in and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Alright. Is it on the second floor? I think. Just a second. Oh. Hey. I don't remember what floor it was on. Was that on the first floor? And I just didn't realize. Oh. Oh no, wait, it didn't go to the second floor. I'm a dummy. <laughs> Genocide Jack watching on you. Hey, Makoto. Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go ch and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go. To make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful. I thought I made it her mad again somehow. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, I'm, I'm going. So then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. Um, one of these drawers, maybe? Okay. Found it. Network cable, right? All you have to do is connect to Elder Ego. You got to work. Hold out the laptop and connect it to the Ethernet port and the, the cable. And that should do it. Um, that's right. Yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world if I can. I'll see if I can call for help. So, please just wait a little longer. I'm do my best. Just hold on tight and put your fate in me. I was about to leave. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and the rest of, and all of the rest of us as friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Makoto. How'd it go? Well, not okay, but uh, all the documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of reacting and real feelings. Correct. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore. That was for, that much was for sure. Ah, uh, Kyoko. What? Um. So we're just gonna split Why up. Is that? Of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done, it's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we do? So... If we find some clue, some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Ultra Ego. Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. Part our ways and headed back to my room. And I headed back to my room. Kinda tired. So I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving Ultra Ego. But I was way more tired than I realized. So before all that... Long before I old long after that, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot that sentence. I completely did this off. Yep. 
A visitor. Huh? The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Makoto. Get out of here. Oh, Kyoko again. Kyoko, what's going Indeed. on? Hina just came to see me. She was white as a ghost. Sounds like something happened. <gasps> what? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. Another murder? I suddenly found myself wide awake. Just for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Hi. Kyoko! Hina, what's wrong? Something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There was a window in the rec room, and I hurried to look inside. And when I did... <gasps> she looks so... like she's asleep or something. Sakura? Is she... unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair, like she's bowing her head. Who know? Yeah, she like sit and sleep. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, fine. I hope so. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? It was just walking past, and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking. I tried calling her name. But she wouldn't respond. Uh, I think all of our strongest characters have died. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe Hero's strong. <laughs> so I don't know if we can break down the door. So, what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door is locked, right? And if we break down... Oh, yeah, we can't even break it down. Violating school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in. I just said. Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room doesn't have a lock. Oh, so the door's being blocked? Huh? Then why? It would seem... His door is pressing up against something in, inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair? In other words. Either way, this door isn't locked. Which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll get something to break it with. It. Wait here, right here. Tie the rec room. Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She was. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, Sakura. I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure. Koko didn't reply. There's only silence. But that silence didn't last. Here! I found a broom in the cluster. Use it! Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please! Please hurry! Okay, you two stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could. Aiming directly at the window. All it took was one solid hit. Oh, I'm pretty strong. Wow. And I rested him my strength. <laughs> the window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the room, the, across the rec room. I struck my hand through the win now open window, started jostling the chair leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can just... I pushed it with all my strength, and finally the knob turned. Sakura! I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her... <gasps> no. All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... Oh no... A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time... Okay. There was not a lot of free time in that one. That one was fast. At least it felt fast to me. Huh? 
Sakuras. Sakuras. Dead? She must have been poisoned. Because it doesn't it didn't look like she was badly wounded. She's really dead? I heard Hina talking, but my eyes started stared steadily forward. I could only look on at Sakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. It's happened again. Wondering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wonder, was she confirming that Sakura was really, really was dead? Checking for a pulse or a reaction. I have to go get him. I have to get the, go get the others. On Shiggy Lakes, Hina left the rap room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated over and over again. I... I need to examine the girl's body. I just stood there, motionless, behind her while she checked Sakura's ports. Time passed. While I stood there, unable to do a thing. Time just passed. After I don't know how long. I got everyone. What? Oh, oh, girl. Mm, yes, yes. Oh, so she's dead, huh? I see. Sakura's been killed. I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Interesting. Sak Sakura was murdered, and by someone in this very room. Is that what you're going to say? Huh? No. Wh whoever killed her. It's not just someone in this room. It's your fault! It's one of you! Hiro, Byakuya, Toko, one of you's killed Sa Sakura. What? what? You're accusing us before we even begun the investigation. I don't need to investigate anything because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. <laughs> One of you did it. I know it. You know it? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase that much by just getting mad. What, what are you doing here? Come on. Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. It's the Monokuma file. Okay. <laughs> don't get so mad, Miss Ashiana, or I'm gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. Mm. Now then, with that, uh, hold on. There's something I wanted to ask you. Huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Huh, huh? Sakura wants to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you found her. You and her fought again, then. Then I killed her. Sorry, not quite. Not even close. The whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to the most forgettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that. It saved me the trouble of having to go through with our little fate. Fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been so mean to take down a behemoth. It'd be no mean to feat to take down a behemoth like that. I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So... I don't know who it was, but whoever the black end is this time, I owe you one. What is this? You owe them one? <laughs> Whoopsie. Before you get all pissy potty at me, we better figure out who did it first. Because I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> what is this? Power of the glasses. <laughs> what the hell? He owes them one? I, I hate him. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well. For one, I am glad it was Sakura. She was working for the Mastermind, after all. How can you say that now? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway... Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Then let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it! You know? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I want to I wanna be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay. Okay, then let Hina. Then Hina is guard number one. But we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me. Hm. You're always a thorn in my side. This time just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. <laughs> fine. I'll stay behind. Hm. 
then it's settled. Sh let's begin, shall we? Oh, my hair is strictly my eye. Hold on. Before that, there's something I want to say. Which is... Hero, Byaku, Byakuya, Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your fault! So it's just gonna be us. Shoot. We're gonna be the ones investigating. One of you killed Sakura. I won't forgive you. I won't let someone like that co come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if that means I have to use force. You're not getting in here. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear now. I won't ask you to let all of us in. Just let me in. What? <laughs> you don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyways. Yep. Nope, don't really care. <laughs> I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. <laughs> and you, Hero, do you really object? Uh, um... If you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear. Now. Then it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina. But you should agree to his request. But... Hey. We have to find out who's killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive, to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. No matter what, Byakyo, you're absolutely not allowed. You're absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, who'd want to touch a filthy dead body? He literally did it. <laughs> With your hero. So. Our options are really low this time, because there's not that many people anymore. Hmm, that's enough fighting. We need to focus on investigation from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. We can't uncover Sakura's killer. Listen to me. All of us will face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. Hmm. All right. Investigation time. Who do I think it did it? I don't know. I kind of want to say Byakuya just because he kind of sucks, but like there's a little like foreshadowing with Kyoko earlier, and he was like, that attitude of yours is probably gonna get you killed, or something like that. So I don't know. But I don't know if he would kill someone off yet, just yet. I feel like he'd be like the last person to do it. Let's see. Victim was Sakura Ogami. Time of death to be estimated around 12 at noon. This is our first, like, middle of the day kill. I think all the ones. Oh no, actually, never mind. Just kidding, it's a lie. That's <laughs> 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 last case. <laughs> this is the middle of day two. <laughs> Body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. Evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head, no other injuries were noted. However, it seems like that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood, so she was poisoned. Because I, I don't, I definitely don't think she would go down without a fight. I think this case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So, the only way to come into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So, if the door was blocked from the inside, there was no way in or out till we broke the window. There's like zero escape, right? In other words. 
This is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it really happen in real life? And right before very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? Sure, I don't if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are ba four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means the killer commits his crime, and through the special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the lock involving the locking of the room. Basically, basic approaches include use using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So, for all we got to do is check the door and see what, what that's what it was, right? Correct. The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? In other words... Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool up from outside the target. Outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a gun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in the door, so shoot an arrow through the gap in the door, something like that. However, but in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and it doesn't, the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably, probably cross that one off the list. It's true. The third type is the, when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words, they stay hidden, and when the door is opened, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend to show up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like that could, it could have been a possibility. It's true. The fourth and actual type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked room. In other words. By that I mean, there were there actually is an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You've seen a lot, this a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's generally not possible. Then, you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So, when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So, there are four possibilities. Then, Kyoko. Which one of these four choices seem most likely in the case? It's true. That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during the trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room. Until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and thus get as much as I can. Uh, for Sakura, if nothing else. Alright, let's look around. This is some kind of wrapper. Huh? Oh, that's... Do you recognize it, Nina? Well... Well, yeah. I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out about Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So, after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So, you gave that candy to Sakura. I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like him. As soon as we got, we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I'm sure nobody else could get their hands on them. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. You really like them that much? I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now, they're lo they've lost all their flavor. You know. Okay. Something's torn or broken? Shards of glass sh scattered all around all around the chair Sakura was sitting on. Bottle? The glass is all red and... These are top and bottom sections of the bottle, right? So this must have originally been a bottle. Okay. Huh? There's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. A Monokuma figure. Okay. <laughs> so no, yeah. Who she is? Maybe she's like the ultimate detective or something. Because <laughs> she always sees her solving these cases. Or she has like some sort of like smarts or something. I don't know. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. Two of them are missing. Inside each bottle, there is some kind of monokuma filler. And 
What I'm wondering is, how'd they get those figures inside the bottles? So... It's no different from your standard ship in the bottle. Hmm? You know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat in placed inside. You've never seen that. Oh, yeah, maybe I have. In other words... So, this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. How do they do that? I feel like I'm starting to make sense of the things, little by little. Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass, which would probably start out as a bottle. Which means Sakura must have been hit with the, in the head with the Monokuma bottle, right? Shards of glass and Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So, I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Okay. There's blood over there. Oh. I didn't mean to click that. I was trying to click the blood on the There we go. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make any sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Around one o'clock right now. I said Monokuma. Oh, she just she just died an hour ago. Jesus. Roughly an hour ago. Was that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Eco? Okay, let's look at her body. Sakura drew her last breath sitting slumped forward in this chair. Maybe I think she's an ultimate ballet dancer. <laughs> There's obvious evidence to the blow of the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what that's what killed her. According to the Monokuma file, she had also vomited blood. You can see a trace of blood on her on her lips for sure. So, what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Okay, maybe her getting the hit in the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood. <laughs> Not a chance. Biakula. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on the most interesting location. Interesting? Naturally. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I, I don't think I call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura's vomited blood absolutely has to be connect connected to the way she died. Okay, let's talk to people. Cool. What the heck? You already know who did it! <laughs> Bako, Toko, or Hiro. It has to be one of them. I couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Kamakoto? Uh, um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then, let me help you find- let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know that where, right? Right here in the back room. What? What? <laughs> After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually, she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon, the Monokuma file said she died around, right around then. To tell you the truth, I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that I, she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stop her by force... This never would have happened. He Hina. It's impossible not to have Gruget sing though. Huh. The fact that she had asked those three to meet with her. She asked them to come to the rec room at noon. Same time and place she ended up dying. What? <laughs> well three of us said what? <laughs> it might be good to confirm what we what I just heard with the three of them directly. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. <laughs> Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. Then is it true? <laughs> I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what I said? I missed being killed by that monster. So you didn't go see her? <laughs> Of course not. I ripped the note into shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Yaka said he didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as a fact. Come on. 
If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. Okay. However. But for Sakura to have been killed. Yeah, she's not the type to go down without a fight. That's exactly what I said. It's true. And certainly, she didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist. Strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wondered, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. They would have they would have needed to to if they expected to stand any chance against her. Hmm. Oh. oh. Let's take a little over here. <gasps> the protein exile thing. There's some kind of plastic container rolling near around near the It's moving around? What? Rolling around near the entrance of the room. <laughs> so it looks like a protein drink. It's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. And she mentioned one more. More than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. That's strange. What is? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of blue, light blue glass. You also see parts of the window I broke in to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. Why does it matter? So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. Important clue? I'm not sure I, I see how. That is a little weird. Because wouldn't the glass been like on top of it or like around it? Not underneath it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can I look at everything? Oh! Oh, they hid in the locker. There's handprints. Huh? The locker. Locker's open, and they're on the inside. It's a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. It looks quite fresh, too. Time to compare the hands. Every put everyone's hand against it. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker, and they left behind some a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was opened, don't you think? During all the confusion, they popped up and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Huh? Why not? Hey. Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? It was already opened. Oh yeah, the locker was already opened at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in here until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then... What does this handprint mean? Locker handprint has been added to the truth. Okay. So they must have hidden the locker and then got the jump on Sakura. It's so clear it has handprints, I know. It's like someone didn't clean it after a long time. Looked at the just bottles. Talk to everyone. Oh, the chair. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Can we look at the door? The door is the only, win what the only way in or out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock. There's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smash window, which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Hmm. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the door knob from turning and the door from opening. There's no evidence of the door and chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. Okay. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most so part. Then. 
Then you should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided? <laughs> She's gotten a lot more pushy since, since we had our issue. She's right. I do have to get go talk to others. Sakara wanted me to wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they say. Yeah, let's go talk to them. Oh. Oh. How do I leave? Oh. <laughs> We're not gonna go through the door. I guess because it's evidence. Two probably went back to the room, so right. So Toko is somewhere over here. Okay. Press the doorbell. After a few seconds. Oh, they're showing this again. <laughs> well, who's there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Who's there? Ah, uh, the most negative aura I've ever felt. The aura of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> I was the annoyed. Took a slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something? I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. Uh, well... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Byakuwa already told me she had asked to meet with him. <laughs> what? She... Wanted to meet with Aster too? Uh, I just said to, didn't I? I guess it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So, can you tell me about it? I admit, I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm, Toko claims she didn't go to see her, but can I really believe her? Until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as a fact. Is that good enough? Then I'll be going back to my room. That Toko clearly retreated to her room. Uh, Hero is back here. Zero. Press the doorbell. A few seconds. You know? What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. Uh, how did you know about that? Could it be? Oh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um. But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byakura and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you about that? Oh, well... Uh, um. And she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh. Yeah, uh... A note she, uh... How about that? She gave it to me in person! And she happened to mention the others, like... Like, passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. <laughs> so then... He went and met with Sakura. You got it all wrong. No way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, the last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got her and I took her to the nurse's office. D don't look at me. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um... Oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Here is filling around in his pockets. Hey, come on. Uh, sorry, it looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his ba hands back out of his pockets. When he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Uh oh. It's super suspicious in general. Huh? What? Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on. 
sorry. Just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? What? what? Uh, anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked me to meet with her. Me. But I never went. So, well, if he sees me... <laughs> We're waiting for a reply. Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Otherwise, why would he react like that? Pocket trash. Okay, so I heard from Toka and Hero. Uh, what next? Definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can. Sure, it must have come from the chem lab. So, where should I start? Well... Oh wait, that was right. Let's go to the chem lab first, I guess. You have your eye on the chem lab too. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, got it. I think you meant what you meant to say was, yes, sir, I understand. I still didn't say it, though. Let's get here. This is my first time seeing this show. Wait, there's a whole spill on the floor, I just realized. But I just can't go over how big it is. If I take a closer look at it. Looks like the three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. More important right now. What's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to sip on it. Okay. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I better not leave a footprint. Poison. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? Looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out. And at that point, the room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. So in other words... That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. But that really is what when it happened. It must be related to the case somehow. He's very clumsy with stuff. Definitely Yasuhiro. Does seem a little suspicious. Oh, there's footprints too. Oh my god. You just measure their feet. <laughs> These are footprints? Or, like, look at the bottom of the shoe. They might have the powder on it. And they're only in front of the shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer. The uncircle was smart. He handed me a piece of paper and pen. <laughs> he just had a piece of paper and pen ready. He just took it out of his jacket. <laughs> just a sheet of paper. It's, like, crumbled up. Well, let's go. Chop chop. Okay. So I got to work, and before long, I drawn up the sketch of the room. So, uh, um, so, how's this? Not bad for you, I mean. For me? When you look at it like this, it's interesting. It appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. Everyone has a paper and, and pen in this type of games. <laughs> These footprints must be... It's certainly Makoto, possible. are they yours? No. What? Okay then, let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. Pretty sure I have tiny feet. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Byaku was saying. Hmm. hmm, I see. You're feet do appear to be too big. Oh, I have big feet. Fortunately, I must admit, these are not your footprints. Fortunately. Hmm. But with the, how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they did do belong to. These prints are a really valuable clue. We should probably take a, good, ha, take a good hard look at the powder. A bunch of yellow powder scattered in the front of the shelf. It's also remains of a broken bottle. Looks like the bottle was a Ken C4. Also, it looks like someone left footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the footprints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Byakua, the powder would have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Okay. 
too big. Are feet really so huge? Yeah, those look like huge. I thought my feet were probably gonna be too small. There's huge footprints. Let's see, what's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with... Oh, I had a big yawn. Letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving until section A. Huh? But wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Can See. Did someone have put it here on accident? Good question. So on this shelf, there's so much chemicals that have no idea what they are. Hmm. They're... Regents? Put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be a bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? what? Do you think studying science and mathematics has no particular application in the real world? The world's of a lo lifelong loser, which I suppose you suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. The containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part to be this part of the shelving on unit section B. Jeez. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Which in which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about the shelf. Alright. On the shelf. One look and I can tell there's nothing but dangerous chemicals. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with letter C, with the letter C and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. I should try to find out more about the shelving unit. Looks like I split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, section B has regents, and section C has lethal chemicals. This girl must have gotten the protein power from section A. But what concerns me is that in Section A, there's a bottle with a label from Section C. Oh. What, a, what was the bottle of poison from Section C doing in Section A? There's definitely something going on here. Okay. I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Okay. Anything else? And keep I see. Oh, just knock my knife. Makoto, I have to admit, you have a good eye for spotting useful clues, but you also need to learn how to make use of those clues. So I guess I just leave. All right, there's another place I forgot what they. I guess we have to go back. Um. How's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. So along with Byakuo, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway... Well, I made some progress on my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, the Monokuma vials. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look over them one more time. According to Yoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just a second. Just starting off, staring off to space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, I know, but... Hey. Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Whew. There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She's completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown preservatively used to. Although there still are still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. Then how can you? So... I imagine because I had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. Opportunities? I had the amazing opportunity to touch a dead body. <laughs> what? 
sorry, never mind. More importantly, look here. Her shoes. Correct. You see that yellow powder in her step? In step? Yeah, it really stands out. I see. That powder is cue number one. Clue number one. Yellow powder has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hey. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot, so let me explain. It would seem... It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Two blows? Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more th interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's either true. One. So, that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Examination summary. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. That's for sure. The bottles. I think Kyoko said she found a new clue involving Mama Kua bottles. Something new. Something new. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're, sh you're sure to find it. A correlation. Oh, they have different chess pieces. Um. Hey, Kyoko, can you just tell me what it- Oh my god, I'm so dumb. So... I don't mind guiding you toward clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone has can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? <laughs> I do trust you, to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Monokuma bottle has been updated to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hey. Actually, there's one thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment. Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottles? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done an, a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that Ignatius Biakko is not here, so... So then. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab while I'm gone. Try to gather up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I better just do it. I took the ba broom and dustpan and got to collecting all the bro broken piece bottle pieces. Just as I finished up. Sorry to keep so you waiting. Is everything ready? Then let's go to work. So what kind of experiment are we going? In other words... I got a scale from the cam lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare weights of what? <laughs> the pieces of glass that you collected and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. It's balanced. In other words. Which means Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect the weight. So then. Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now, what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay, let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier. How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The results of our experiment and correlation between each of the bottles. Put it all together. Hey. I believe you arrived at a very persuasive conclusion. It's the most long evidence which you get. Really? I believe you will arrive at a very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. Alright. Uh, I forgot what else. Over here? That's strange if it's true. Why is it so far away from she died? So the magazine was hiding a clue somehow. Oh, okay. Clue, clue. This magazine's upside down. 
The song put it back the, that way on accident. Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore in that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Picks up the very magazine and flips through it. This is on one of the pages near the center of the magazine. A word of, had been written in blood, bloody letters. It said Toko. Could this be? A dying message? It's correct. It appear you found it. Kyoko, is this... So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly where I found it. As I found it. For the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That's this Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. What the heck? She's the killer, right? But I don't think so. Cause once it's Sakura's hands clean, she don't have any blood on her hands. So I think someone else wrote that. Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. That concludes evidence, right? You can use it to get in the corner of the killer. I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me much, much more suspicious. Exactly. Dying message. Oh, oh my god, that was it. Oh. This went by a little shorter. I guess because there's less things going on now. Because there's less people. Should I do oh. it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? This class trial. Uh, I don't know what he said. He said, oops, you caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring so I couldn't stay awake. Okay. Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. Is there any time but the mystery of the locked room? It's only half soft. Soft. Solved. <laughs> At this point, whatever happens will have to happen in the class trial. No, no matter what happens, I have to make something happen. Okay. Now, that's a good place to stop before we get into class trial. Because that's going to be a long while. So I'll save that for next time. You don't seem very suspicious. No problem. Thanks for watching. You don't definitely seem the most suspicious out of everyone. So I don't know. So could he, could, he probably could have actually did it, like actually killed someone compared to last one where he set up. But I don't know why. I mean, yeah, Sakura's the, the, the spy, but like, I don't know, I don't see how you benefit from it exactly. Hmm. Togo's name was written down, but I don't think it was Sakura who wrote it down. She didn't have any blood, she didn't have anything on her hands. Her hands were clean. So, the person who did kill her probably wrote that down to throw people off. I don't know. Uh. To be honest, Byakuya does not seem suspicious compared to the last <laughs> He does not seem suspicious, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, I guess. <laughs> but I'd be- I, I would be generally surprised if it is him. <laughs> so I don't expect it. So I don't know. Maybe it was Hero. Cause we were- stuff- cause- And Hina's all like shaken up about it. So, like that was her, her friend, her best friend. So I don't think so. But I don't see why. It, if Hina were to do it, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, we'll figure it out for the class trial, I guess. <laughs> well, we were with. Weren't we with Kyoko? When we went to. for the, the whole. um. 
alter ego thing. There's no way. I, there's no way that she went all the way up to the next floor, killed Sakuro, and like set all that stuff up, and then came back. Like it's. It felt like a short amount of time for when we set it up. I don't know. Yeah, that <laughs> she was pretty brave for that. I guess. I don't know. Kill ogre is hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Unless, unless... Maybe it wasn't necessarily Toko, and if it was Genocide Jack, but Genocide Jack has a very, very specific way of how she kills her victims, so she doesn't kill women either, so... I kind of lose her out. I'm scared, because we're getting, like, we're, like, six people now, and then we find out the next person, and it's, like, five. So we're, like, we're... <laughs> We're like cutting, we're, we're losing a lot of people right now. <laughs> I'm excited to see. So, class trial next time. 